trip. It's gonna be incredible. How you stuck with me for this long, I don't know. What's up, folks? Uh, it's Justin Romine here. Uh, we are back in action. This is a vlog slash tutorial. I know you may be used to seeing videos on my channel of like in an office setting and like teaching a tutorial. I'm gonna do a little something different this time because my wife and I, right here, Jamie. Hello. <laughs> it is our four year wedding anniversary. Yes, it is. We got married April 28th, 2017. 2017. So we are out here in Broken Bow, Oklahoma and we are staying at this beautiful cabin. It's That's, incredible. Yeah. Incredible. It's called Deer Pines. <laughs> We're actually getting to stay here and film these cabins. Uh, the owner of this cabin owns three that are in like the same vicinity, same neighborhood. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, so I'm going to do a tutorial on how to shoot real estate videos. This is going to be a walkthrough type real estate video, but then I'm also going to do some lifestyle stuff too, hoping, praying that the weather cooperates. Well, I have to go grocery shopping, so you have fun. You're going? Okay. I have to go to the grocery store. What are you going to get? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> it's our anniversary, so we're eating out tonight, but we need groceries. We eat food in the morning. I don't know if y'all eat food in the morning, but we do, and we have to have some food. So this is all we got right now. We got strawberries. That's it. So first up, we have to set up our camera rig. That's one of the first things you do is you have to have a camera to shoot real estate video. So I have the RS2 right here and this, I got the pro combo. So it has this arm on the back. So it like latches on there and then you can put the, I'm filming this on the R6, but I'm going to be filming this video. This real estate video is the red Komodo 6K and we are gonna be shooting it not on the 35 millimeter lens. We are gonna be shooting it on the Laowa 12 millimeter lens. The Komodo is a super 35 sensor. So there is a crop at 12 mil. It's, I think it comes out to around 15 to 16 mil instead of the 12. So when it comes to getting everything set up, Obviously, you put the camera on there first. You need to balance the gimbal. Putting on the Komodo, what's really cool about the RS2 is it balances the Komodo really well. I don't like using this little tiny two inch by two inch screen that they give you with the Komodo. So I use this external monitor. This is the Feel World 4K SDI monitor. They also have a LUT version, I believe, that allows you to install LUTs on there. I don't have that one, so uh, maybe someday. Now the tricky part about this is configuring the RS2, because normally I would mount the Feel World on top of the camera like this, but that would make it really top heavy, so I'm not gonna go that route. All right, so we got the gimbal all set up, balanced, got the monitor connected. What I ended up doing is, oh, gotta calibrate the gimbal, here we go. Do a little calibration action. This is actually the phone mount right here that came with the gimbal. And what I did is I took the phone piece off and then I put this small rig uh, quarter inch to quarter inch that you can, it's two different balls and then you tighten it on this side. And that allows me to mount a monitor like that. So I can kind of configure it as I see fit, but that takes the monitor so it's not on top of the gimbal, being balanced on the gimbal, it's off to the side. And that way I can see, and it's a big seven inch monitor. Well, I was about to do outside filming, literally just about to go out here and film, and now it's raining. So I am not gonna do outdoor filming right now. Right now, I have my camera set up at, it was at 24 frames a second. My shutter's at 180, Kelvin's at 4,000 because the, the lights are a little bit yellow in here, which I do wanna retain some of that yellow because uh, it gives kind of a cool, warm ambiance. But my ISO is at 1,000 because it is kind of like dark in here. I'm shooting at a 2.8 aperture, but it is a Super 35, so you're not getting that full, 2.8 f-stop of light that's coming through if it was a full frame. But I just cranked up the 
FPS to 40. It gives it a little bit darker. I'm trying to keep my ISO as low as possible. Thousands even pushing it a little bit. But in DaVinci Resolve, you can always apply a little bit of noise reduction. It's gonna be a really clean image. And I'm shooting at 6K ProRes at the 17 by nine ratio. So it's a little bit wider screen than, than regular 16 by nine. You're getting a little bit more on the horizontal plane, but uh, you zoom in, there's not gonna be a whole lot of crop. Basically, I'm just walking through, I'm staying as wide and on the edges, and when I see a shot that looks cool, that looks like it would feature the kitchen really well, I do that shot a couple different times from a couple different angles to really give the best overall look, because I'm trying to make this this room as inviting as possible. So you wanna make it feel like somebody is here and they get to experience it like they are walking through. The ceilings in here are super nice. Like they're all wood, they have all this like recessed lighting. I need to make sure I can showcase that because you can't really tell very well in the photos on their website that they have this type of ceiling and this lighting. So pro tip right here, I like to do a lot of parallaxes to really show, you're able to show more of the room if you're doing a parallax because the camera is rotating around. So it's kind of like a pan, but it's not like just a, a dad pan, right? A parallax is where you're moving a direction, but then rotating the camera the other direction. So when you do that, ooh, what was that? <laughs> when you do that, you're able to showcase the property and it almost makes it look better and bigger than what it is. Maybe not better, but definitely bigger. So one thing that I try to do when I'm entering a room for the first time, like for instance, this is the master suite here uh, in this cabin. And you can see the ceilings go really high up. And that's the thing that you can't really tell in the photos. Like my wife and I got here and we're like, whoa, this is like beautiful, right? I look at how the room is laid out, what other doors and what other entryways are there to the room because I wanna make sure those are open. We're trying to make the house open, inviting. And when I open up those doors, it'd be weird if I just open up the doors and then you look through and as, you're, as I'm filming the master bedroom, you're looking in the bathroom and it's all dark in there, it's not gonna look good. So you gotta turn on all the lights. I literally turn on all those lights, those little, and those lamps right there, turn them on. Big thing is make sure that the bedding, this is all the bedding, the pillows, it looks pretty good already. There's not a whole lot that I need to do, but it's it's all about the little details and attention to detail, especially if you're new to real estate video or you're trying to land more real estate video clients. Those little details that real estate agents are gonna notice and it's gonna make your video stand out even more. In regards to how I would film the room, I look at how it's laid out. Naturally, if I'm standing right here, and we're gonna walk into the room. You're gonna see the bed, right? That's one way to film it, and I would do the parallax. The bed is like the centerpiece, because that's where your attention needs to draw. And then I'd probably do another angle that showcases the fan and the, the recessed lighting up there to show really how tall these ceilings are. But that's how I would film this room. I film two to three different angles, and, and if I have to refilm it like a couple different times because I'm like jittery or shaky, or like not smooth on the parallax, then I do that. All right, so now we are on to the master, well really this is a one bedroom, uh, but the master bathroom. Biggest thing with bathrooms is same thing as the master bedroom, is making sure everything looks organized. Uh, making sure the towels are not all wrinkly or like sitting weird. Making sure the toilet seat is down. Arranging, like cleaning off the countertops and arranging what is on the countertops, like making sure it looks good. I will go back through with a different lens, probably a 50 mil, to get detailed shots of all the little intricate details. Sometimes the realtor or the homeowner will tell you what those details are that they wanna showcase, and sometimes 
you have to use like your just creative vision. Like if you're like, wow, like that bathtub in there is just beautiful. Like look at this bathtub. Look at that bathtub. That's ridiculous, man. There's a wooden tray and on the wooden tray is a candle and like this cool little spa looking plant. So I definitely want to like showcase the tub like that. And the darker, darker hardware on there makes it just look so good. All right, now we are on the back porch, uh, which is really cool because it is elevated among the fire pit which is down there so this is like it's hard to tell on video especially probably photos but this is like it's like we're on the second story right now looking down to the first story that's how like far that is that's a pretty far drop to film and capture this back patio which also has a long walkway right here to a hot tub over there we want to make sure our kelvin out here is nice and warm and inviting you want it to look uh, like even though these lights are orange, I would rather it be a little more warmer. So I make sure to balance my exposure between the outside where the highlights are uh, and underneath here where the shadows are. Luckily with the red, we have a lot of dynamic range. We have like 16 stops of dynamic range. And if I need to bring up the shadows just a little bit um, to be able to bring out some of this detail, then I will. Unfortunately, I just tried to turn on the fireplace and I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. I turned it past the 10, but it's not turning on right now. Ideally, if there is fireplaces, things like that, you want to turn them on. Fans. Video, you want the fans on. Photo, you don't want the fans on. When you film in slow motion, I'm filming at 40 frames. It's going to give this like dreamy effect with the fans on there. And then yes, again, turn on all the lights that you can find. Just saw that this light is not on. I gotta turn it on. Gotta do it. Or else I gotta redo the shot. Nobody wants to redo the shot. Nobody. Like these, you want these open. Or at least somewhat open. If you're gonna open them, make sure they're all about the same opening. These need to go like that. My wife just got back from getting groceries. Let's see what she got. Is it raining? Jenna says hi. Thanks, Jenna. Thank you. Well, but I just got here. I got to carry in groceries. Love you forever. Yeah. Wait, or I was going to tell you this funny thing, but. Jenna, I'm going to let you go. I love you. Ooh. Look at all them groceries. What I was thinking. What were you thinking? I didn't really want to do like hamburgers, and I kind of wanted to do tacos. But then I was looking for ground turkey, but then I couldn't find any. But then I found these turkey burgers. If you want sunglasses, I can go back in and get you some. I want sunglasses. Please. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Oh, look. A river. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. We have to go through it. Going on a bear hunt, gonna catch a big one. What a beautiful day! See that? That is pretty right there. And the sound of music. What's the song she sings when she's running through the hills? Oh, she is alive. The hills are alive. <laughs> so, like I said, the purpose of this trip is to film and teach y'all how I film real estate videos. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to try to integrate what I like doing is integrating. Sorry, I'm so out of breath. This is like, this is a really tough hill. I don't know if y'all can see. That's like straight downhill right there. And we're going this way, uphill. Integrating. But I like integrating some lifestyle aspects of being here in Broken Bow, Oklahoma, which is where this cabin is. So showing the cabin wide shots detail shots but then also integrating lifestyle which isn't necessarily what we're doing right now right now we're just going on a walk 
Just a nice little morning, mid-morning stroll. Wow, this hill is insane. So what's gonna be challenging about filming the lifestyle content for this video is, it's my wife and I, Jamie and I, right? Well, how am I supposed to film myself? It's supposed to showcase like a couple going on this retreat home because it's a one bedroom cabin. So it's not like you're gonna have multiple families or lots of different uh, like brothers and sisters and big families going to this spot. But it's also like, well, if I'm filming, I'm filming Jamie. <laughs> well, it's gonna be a little bit challenging to have me in there, but I'm gonna have to do some setup shots and uh, just really think about framing and sound design. I'm gonna have the mic on at all times. It's so peaceful out here, except for all the construction Aww, going on. You. But it's it's necessary, like, right? Do you like it? What? You love everything about right now. <laughs> a little stretching. You gotta stretch it out. Because this break. hill right here is massive. Like, look at that cabin. That is crazy. I mean, we're not doing a video for that cabin, but maybe someday, maybe someday. Well, so we are out here at Gators Point, which is in, what, Beaver's Bend State Park, mm -hmm. I believe. Yes. We were getting some lifestyle stuff. We have the Porsche up there. We were getting some driving shots going around in different locations around Beaver's Bend. It's and awesome. it was beautiful. And luckily, even though it's been cloudy all day, rainy all day, look at that sunset. That's we have perfect. not seen the sun for two days and we finally saw it and it was at sunset for like 10 minutes. It was perfect. It was beautiful. <laughs> yeah. It just peaked right through the clouds. Mm -hmm. But that was the goal is to, we were kind of rushed. I wanted to get a ton of lifestyle mm -hmm. shots for this video and the sun was just like starting to peek through and it was looking good. Uh, so I didn't have time to like film a lot of that, but basically we set up a bunch of different shots of the Porsche coming into frame, Jamie walking through different like parts different of the, parts yeah. of the, the point. Mm -hmm. Yep. And looking at skipping rocks a little bit, you know, or so attempting to, it's, attempting it's to. rough, <laughs> throwing rocks, whatever it is. Yeah. It was, it, I think it's going to turn out really good mm -hmm. and I will key the video right here. If y'all have any further questions or you want me to go into more detail about how I film real estate stuff, just let me know and let me know what you think about the video. Sure.